This is the video about the template method design pattern which is one of my favorite programming design pattern that I like to use whenever I can. A template method is such a useful pattern which when properly implemented can immensely help us in code reuse across our projects. So what is a template method or template function pattern? Template method is a behavioral design pattern. Template method basically breaks down any algorithm or programming logic or task into a number of different steps. The steps are based on sub logics which can have the need to be overridden by derived class methods. So a template method pattern solves the problem of partially overriding a cohesive programming logic while keeping the rest of the code execution same. Let's now see a simple code example so that you can better understand how this pattern actually works. So this is a .NET Core console application and in this project, what I will be doing is I will create a class which will be responsible for building the project and then deploying it on the server. Let's name the class as build project, add a constructor for this class. So public build project now this class build project is going to build and deploy the project in three simple steps the first one is going to be compile code the second one is going to be run tests and the third one is going to be deploy code so these are just normal steps whenever we have to deploy a project first we just compile the code to see if it is successfully compiling or not and then we run the predefined tests if any of the critical tests are failing then we will not deploy the code and then finally the code will be deployed to one of the servers where maybe the QE or the client can test the project features so when a new project will be created out of this build project class then these three steps will run but the point here is we have to provide the ability for us to be able to override any of these steps so that we can provide any custom functionality. So for example, if you want to use a different compiler to compile the code, then you will have to override this compile code step or you may want to run a subset of tests or you may want to deploy the code somewhere else on a different server. Whatever the case may be, first we will have to provide implementations for these three methods. So let's just do that. So let's first provide the implementation for the compile code method. So to do that, I will just create a new virtual method and let's just name it as compile code. Inside the base build project class implementation of this method, I am just going to write to the console that the code is compiled. So code is compiled and similar to this method i am going to add two more methods second one for the run tests and the third one for deploy code and let's also change the message which is being written to the console so tests ran successfully and then now from this build project base implementation we are just going to deploy the build or the compiled project to the let's say QE server so deployed to QE server now let's create a new object out of this build project class so build project equals to new build project and now let's run the code to see what steps are being printed in the console so the steps which are being printed here are code is compiled, tests ran successfully and deployed to QE server. Now suppose that we have to provide an alternate implementation where we have to deploy the code to some other server like maybe we want to deploy the code to a staging. Now to do that we have to create a different class and because these are template methods we can override any of the steps. In our case we will have to override the deploy code step and then provide another implementation while keeping the rest of the implementations same so let's just do that class let's just name it as build project on staging or you know what the name should be deploy on a staging but you get the idea right the class is to deploy the project on a staging server 
and this is going to derive from the existing built project class now the first thing that we have to do is we have to create a constructor for our built project on a staging class and when we will do that we will have to call the base constructor as well because we want to execute these three original steps otherwise none of the things are going to happen so let's just do that all right next we will have to override this deploy code method or deploy code function so override deploy code and then we will have to deploy to the staging server now let's create a new object out of this build project on a staging class so i am just going to copy this line and then comment this one out so build project equals to we have to create a new object out of this class and then that should be pretty much it let's now run this project this time you can see the first two steps are similar to the ones which we have in the build project class code is compiled and then tests run successfully but now the compiled code is being deployed to the staging server instead of the qe server so this is obviously a very simple code example and things are most probably never going to be this simple when we work on a project but you get the idea right while designing our classes if we suspect that we may have to provide an alternate or a different functionality or a logic for a part of the algorithm then we can use template method pattern and design the class code accordingly the best thing about template method design pattern is we can partition an algorithm as much as we want when the individual units are meant to be overridden later at some point so implementing template methods for already existing parent and derived class hierarchies can prove to be challenging but if it means preventing a lot of headache later on then i guess it can be a good idea to invest time in modifying the existing code and that was everything this video has to offer do let me know for any questions and please like the video and subscribe to this channel as well if you haven't done that already i am nitej and i will see you next time till then stay safe and have fun